Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Silent Hill 2. Good lord, I forgot how damn dark this game is. Alright, so last time, weird stuff happened. I would highly, highly recommend you watch that episode if you didn't for some strange reason. Basically, uh, weird stuff happened and then the hospital that we're in changed. So a bunch of the rooms that were previously locked are now unlocked, a bunch of the rooms that were previously unlocked are now locked. As you can see, the map has updated because I had gone and checked every single room, so the ones that don't have a squiggle or a little arrow indicating you can go in and out, we got to recheck those. So that's a thing. It also seems to be a bit visually different, though I might just be tripping all of the balls. I mean, in my defense, the game is darker than the devil's <laughs> hole, so it's very possible it looks exactly the same, but I just can't tell. Also, the camera angles keep changing, and it's freaking me out. All right, let's go check some rooms down here. If we can... In yeah, hang on, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, no, we can't. So we'd have to... Because we can't get to that section at the moment. Actually, how do we get to that section at all? Now that I think about it. The music is also freaky-deaky, dude. I mean, the music is always freaky in this game, but, like... Sometimes it's freaky in the it sounds like a porno soundtrack kind of way, and you're just like, that seems really out of place. A bit like the voice acting. You're like... Dude, I feel like the you know what? I gotta I gotta gun this puppy down. Hang on. Oh, hello. You appear to be quite dead. I mean, I can hear you. There's a lot of bodies here, and a lot of people apparently still walking around despite the bodies. So, over on the left, we can check that door. Apparently, I missed that. I feel like that's gonna be locked. Uh, yep, okay. So wait, what do we do here? Do, I guess we have to go to the third floor? No, we can go through the day room, but we did go in there. There was a locked fridge, right? And it said that we are too much of a weakling to do it on our own. So we have our new wife, who was in a room somewhere. I think it was the third floor, so I guess we need to go to the third floor and get her. So I'm just going to, like, avoid these enemies for now. <laughs> they sound very close. I'm going to avoid these enemies for now, because maybe they'll disappear. Probably not, but I'd really rather not waste the ammo. That's a good question, actually. How much ammo do we have? E e oh, that's shotgun shells. Ooh. Ooh, it's not even reloaded. Oh. We ain't got much. Oh, good. Immediate danger. You are... Gonna get frickin' wrecked. Head, wrecked. Head kick of justice. All right, so... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I think she was in, like, S4, S3, S2, somewhere around there, I think. Uh, I'm gonna start from, well, I'm gonna start from the sh I'm just gonna do every damn room. How about that? Let's, let's try the shower room. I'm a dirty boy. That's why I hear more demons. Yeah, my dudes are looking- Oh! Did you put that down? Good lord lady, could I have my eye out with that thing? You're a nurse, so you're supposed to help, not hinder. Ooh. Ooh. What is this camera angle? What is that? Hang on, bullets. And a what now? Ampulis? Ampulis? Restores energy by relieving pain. Effects are powerful. I don't get it. What's the difference between that? I guess that's like better than a medic pack. Yeah, because yeah, effects are moderate, effects are powerful, so it's a better medic pack. Sure. I'm okay with that. I'm mostly happy we got the handgun bullets, to be honest with you. There's a scrap of paper on the ground. Just some doodle? Huh? Something is written on it. <laughs> she is an angel. No one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along a bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. There really needs to be some grammar in here, like some commas and stuff. Let's try reading, because that didn't make any sense to me. Let me try reading it with some actual punctuation. She is an angel. No one knows, only I can see, the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. You notice bridge is capitalized as is thread. Bridge of thread. Huh. Uh, like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them. Sin and sinner alike, she saves me, she is an angel. You're nuts. I don't know what the hell that means. Apart from you are nuts. Wasn't this where up? We can hear Darth Vader breathing again. Wasn't this where our wife was? Second wife? There are empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? 
Is Maria sick now too? What is that, dude? What's that breathing sound? It's so creepy. I'm freaking out. <laughs> All right, hang on. Uh, sure. Okay, so yeah, I, she was an S3. I think that was my guess. Uh, I feel like none of these are gonna open. Actually, I suppose one of them has to, right? Otherwise, we are completely and utterly stuck. Something here has to open, which I guess would be one of these two doors. So the examine, examining room four. See, it says there's three doors on my right. I don't think there is. But, well, I mean, maybe there is. Okay, that's shut. Yeah, no, there's definitely not three doors here. Even the, like, even the doors don't match up anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, this one had to open. Hello. I'd really like to not waste ammo on you, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? There's one that way you can see. Yeah, I was going to say, you can see he's looking over there. Uh, they're not alone. I think there's one to my south. To my south. That way. Uh... Is the music bugging out? Like, what's going on here? Is the music meant to sound like that? Hello. Whoa, hey. Easy. Ah! Please, not five bullets. I gotta be more frugal than that. All right, the music has, uh, I almost said capsized. Yeah, the music is a boat now. All right, hold on. Let's make sure we keep this puppy reloaded. This was not blocked off previously. Yeah, so, okay, so the uh, the architecture is also changing, not just what's locked and not locked. That's very cool and most confusing for someone who has an awful sense of direction. Wait, this is a different elevator. Oh, I forgot there was two elevators. Okay, so we can get to the... Uh... Oh, well. We can get to the other side of... The first floor. Oh my god, stuff. First aid kit, shotgun shells, hang on bullets. Delightful. Is that all that's in here? I mean, I'm very happy with that, don't get me wrong. It's just very unlike this game to give you a bunch of stuff in a room without, like, a demon protect- Oh, Jesus! Ooh! Wow. Just came right back in you. Bitch. Oh god, there's another one. And another one. Another one. Uh, so we've got the stairwell, we've got the special treatment room. Isn't the special treatment room where we fell down when Pyramid Head knocked us off the roof? I think it- ooh, I think it is. But I guess I'll just spend all the bullets I got. Jason, you spent six, you got ten. I know, but like still. We profited four. I could have ran away probably, but like, I want to explore this place without demons getting in my way, you know? Rude, rude demons. This ain't gonna open. Knew it. All right, what about the stairwell? Bed don't open, but we need the elevator. It opens. Never mind then. There's a save point here now. Hell yeah, dude. Spooky. All right, where are we going? Let's try going up. That it would be the roof, right? Except, is that the roof? Uh, yes. We'll have a look out here if we can. We cannot. I kind of figured. Well, never mind then. I keep expecting a jump scare. Oh, what about the basement? Oh, the basement's not blocked off now. This is the basement, right? Because I know we haven't been down here, but I remember seeing it on the map. You're right, because it's like over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where we're going now. Oh, it certainly seems to be... Bug is that? What was that? <laughs> All right, so prediction. Every time we've heard a creepy noise in this game, it's been like a dude throwing up or like a kid crying. Like It's never actually been a monster. That's going to be like a trapped rat or something. I use the basement storm key. I forgot I got that, but fantastic. It's a horrible sound either way, whatever it is. There is something behind that, whatever the hell that is. You see there's like a crack here and like a thing on the wall. It looks like a poster. There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. No, we're not going to move the shelf yet. Let's check the rest of the room. Like that. Shotgun shells. Didn't even see those. It was just mashing the button. I'll be honest. All right, I guess we're moving the shelf. <laughs> Wait. Doesn't look like there's anything on it. No, 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 no. Move the shelf, you pillock. 
I bet he can't. Oh my god. This weedy man just pushed his... He couldn't even open a fridge earlier. What James. happened? Oh, Jesus, lady. Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Speaking of fridges... Sorry. I could use your help. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? Whoa! You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back you there. You just said I'm glad you're alive. What more you do you want? Why you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You're the one who went to sleep there. You couldn't care less about me, could you? We just met. I don't know you. Second wife? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. But... <laughs> but I don't know who you are. What about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. Legitimately, I think we've known each other for like maybe two hours. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. Look at her shadow. I just feel sorry. Oh, okay, never mind. She's all alone. It looked like a nun's for habit for a second. I feel like it's the need to protect her. It's just a wonky shadow. Like, ooh, we going down? Well, we got a fridge to open. I guess we're going down here then. Fuck the fridge for now. Right, well, the burden's back with us again. Sweet. What is going on in this room? Lady, get out of the damn way. What is going on in this room, dude? Hello? <laughs> it's just... Wait, there's something on the floor. I got the copper ring. Yeah, you never catch me. Come on, man. All right, so copper ring. I found it in the basement of the hospital. It's engraved with a picture of a spider. Creepy. Okay, the examine did absolutely nothing. Uh, I would guess we have to combine this with something. What is that noise? Why is that noise? Why is that noise? Hi there, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Huh? It's going to be game over if I answer wrong, isn't it? And our lucky, or should I say, unlucky challenger today is James! James Sunderland! It's me! Are you ready to play trick or treat? No! Okay, here's your first question. Merry-go-round, haunted house, roller coaster, Ferris wheel, and teacups. Theme park. Silent Hill is home to a thrilling amusement park. Amusement park. I don't know, dude. Fantasy Land. Two. Silent Hill Amusement Park. Three. Lakeside Amusement Park. I'm gonna go with Lakeside. Okay, quickly on to question number two. Huh? Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. My brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped into pieces. I remember reading this. Torn flesh. I think. Is this when we got the coin in the in the garbage? What a terrible tragedy! What a gruesome end to such innocent lives! Now the question: What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? One, Walter Sullivan. Yes. Two, Scott Fairbanks. It was Walter Sullivan. Three, Eric Guy. Now for our third. And I'm not sure of the theme park answer though. I don't know the name of the road, dude. What is the name of that road? One, Buckman Road. Two, Rendell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. I think it was Nathan Avenue. That's the last of our questions. Maybe? Have you got it all figured out? No! When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your oh. prizes. But be careful. If you're wrong... <laughs> so I could just look at the map. 
And the only one that wasn't on the map would be Walter Sullivan, we know that. It's a storeroom on the third floor. What storeroom? What was that? I don't know. I like her little tattoo near her belly button. Oh god. Hello. Alright, so, uh, fridge. You're in the way of my fridge, love. I'm gonna have to murder you, ain't I? Oh god, I think there's one behind me. Ah, crap, I wasted a bullet. That's fine. Come on, Maria, we gotta go. Is her name Maria? I don't remember. Which one's the day room? Oh, it's the one right in front of me. Okay, cool. I'm sure nothing will possibly go wrong. We're not on the third floor, are we? We're on the second. Pretty sure, so this is not the storeroom. Something that looks like a refrigerator. Come here, you little you know, wheeze bag. Uh, yeah, Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? What's this? Not very cute, is it? Yeah, another cock ring. Here, James. You take it. Oh, thanks. The lead ring. That's the most emotion I've heard in his voice, by the way. Oh, thanks. Alright, so, uh, ring from the refrigerator. It's engraved with a disgusting bloated face and a spider. Combine. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, maybe we need three rings? Everything comes in threes, man. I should reload my gun. Let's reload our gun. Uh, so I suppose what we need to do next is the storeroom on the third floor. So, I expect if we give wrong answers, we'll get game over. I think it will just kill me. Alright, I believe this is the storeroom. I have just saved it. Yep, there's a chest here now that was not here before. It's very elaborate. Question one was... See, I don't remember. I think it was three... Uh, the second question was Walter Sullivan, right? And then... I think it was three again. Three, one, three? Damn, look at me go. I got shotgun shells. 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 I got an ampoule. I got an ampoule. That's it, huh? That's a lot of shotgun shells. Which, you know, video game logic is indicating we're going to need those shotgun shells. Where is the second wife, by the way? Oh, there you are. Um, What the bloody hell do I do now? Why are there pictures of people on the... Oh, look at this. Okay, lady, you're standing away. Get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Get back, get back. You don't know me like that. But there's like a picture of a woman there. P lady, please. Oh, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. There's a picture of a woman here as well on the door. I don't remember that being there. Oh, I haven't tried to go back in here. Apparently. It's locked, however. Huh? Her hand. There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. Mmm. I was gonna say, obviously we can open it because it doesn't say the lock is broken. Did I do it? Put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Put the lead ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Ooh. I did. <laughs> what are the chances? I was like, where do we go now? And then I just noticed this door that we missed. Well, that's bloody convenient. Where are we? In a different stairwell. Alright. Good. Really feel... What's that? There's a note on the ground inside is some kind of hard-to-read writing. I was gonna say, I really feel like we're about to run into trouble again. The game did just give us a ton of shotgun shells. I took the director's key, the one in the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. Day, oh, he said day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Wait, hang on, what? Director's key uh, for the museum behind the praying woman. Hmm. 
I don't know what praying woman they're talking about. Mm, it's locked, okay. Is this actually going to get us to the basement? Because we haven't really been in the basement properly yet, have we? Still. Oh, that looks basement-y to me. Why does a hospital have a creepy basement? You know? This feels like a pyramid head area. Uh. Was that pyramid head? <laughs> You know, I, I was like, this looks really grimy. It looks like, yep, that's Pyramid Head. It looks like somewhere Pyramid Head would hang out. And I was right. Lady, we gotta go. I'm not worried about me getting killed by him. I'm worried about you getting killed by him. You may, I was gonna say, you may want to get in here. Well, sorry about that. Look, I opened the fridge. I don't really need you anymore. I gotta be honest. Here's Johnny. Tell me he's gonna hear Johnny the elevator door. Oh, you know, I thought something really gruesome was gonna happen there, like her arm was gonna get removed from her body in the door. You know, something like that. I guess she's dead. I don't know. I didn't really see anything happen to her. I heard a squish, so I'm guessing she got squished. I was about to say James seems very cut up about this, but that's probably not the best choice of words given what just happened. I think she's pretty cut up, cut up about it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Physically cut up. Comedy is subjective, Murray. Like, no, I just got a second wife and I've lost her already. Don't worry, we'll get a third. What was it, like, Mary, Maria? Next one would be, like, Mandy or something. Like, you look just like my two dead wives. Got emotional music now. Is it broken? I press the button, but the elevator doesn't react. Where are we now? Oh. We are back at the start. And we've lost our wife, to be honest. I'd say that's a win. All she did was get in the way. A door, she opens. The map? He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map, there's a letter and a wrench. What? What do you mean a letter and a wrench? Gonzales Mexican restaurant. Don't mind if I do. There's water park. Oh, here was historical society. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this is telling me. I mean, I guess we go there. I got the hospital lobby key. Lobby key? Oh, dear. You scared the life out of me. Pyramid head? Not really. Kind of expected it. <laughs> you just made me jump. All right, then. Let's check the room. I bet there's nothing here. There is nothing here. Logically speaking, I probably got like a good five or so to cut out. So we'll try and like, you know, round it up to about 30 minutes for you. You're welcome. Also, I feel like something's going to happen when we come out here. Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Do I get a bad ending for this? Laura has run off somewhere. Is there a bad ending? Mary, what? What should I do now? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking? Taking? I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. You do know I'm going to call Mary Maria from now on. Wasn't it light last time we were here? It is very dark now. Where the hell are we going? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we got a marker there. I don't know why. Because that's the hospital we were just in, is it not? Uh, I suppose we're going to Rosewater Park, but... Okay, so maybe we can cut through there. Cut. Even even that word just makes me think of Maria's gruesome end. The gruesome end that I didn't really see, but I assume happened. Demon under the truck? Could be a demon on the truck. Ooh, oh, it's a nurse. Yeah, you're not... Uh, no, no, thank you. Spare some change. 
Leave me alone, I don't have any change! Okay, so hopefully we can cut through Heaven's Night... <laughs> cut through Heaven's Night here. Uh, like we did before. The door doesn't work. That's not where we went through, it's further up. Okay then. Ah, here we go. Alright. Let's see if this actually works. It doesn't work. Alright, we're going the other way. You know, I kind of thought that was going to be the case. By the way, before I forget, does anyone know what would happen if we'd got the answers wrong on that... Oh, son of a bitch, where do I go now? Crap. Uh... I don't actually know. Unless we have to leave down there, southwest, or south over here. I don't know. Um, yeah, d does anyone actually know what would happen if I'd got the answers wrong on that chest that we got all the shotgun shells out of? Because it did specifically say that we would be punished if we got it wrong. Maybe you just take damage. Maybe it's not like an instant game over. I feel like it'd be an instant game over. Alright, can we indeed leave via this south exit? Doesn't bloody look like it, does it? Is the map going to update? Yes. Uh, I suppose we'll try that way then. I feel like we're trapped. What is this? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm very glad I found that. It's like another... It's like 10 each time, right? It's like another 20 bullets. I killed like half a dozen people with that. Oh, you bitch. I was opening the map. <laughs> God damn it. What's this? Free stuff? Don't mind if I do. Concern, I just got thwacked. Uh, I think it's another dead end. It suddenly appears to... Ooh, hang on. Yeah, I was going to say, it's another dead end, but there is a lot of loot down these dead ends. That's exciting. The only thing I'm wondering is that note about the key behind the praying woman. Like, what's up with that? You know? I don't know where to go. Because as you can see, that way's blocked off. Both of those are blocked off. That's blocked off. That's blocked off. As is the cut through uh, next to Heaven's Night. So we literally cannot go anywhere except back in the hospital, right? Alright, well for now, I'm going to go back in here and save it. Because uh, it's about episode length and as you can see, I don't know where to go. So I'll figure that out for the start of the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, you know the drill. I'll let past me slash future me do the outro thank you everybody i'll see you next time for more silent hill 2 thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did i would appreciate a like a comment etc and thank you so much to this month's patrons if you'd like to join them patreon.com slash mr lp their names this month are Justin Alexander, John Wilson, Dennis Hammer, Nickerin, Trent123, Bloodpire, Rex Burham, Awina1997, Rahan Dani, Luna Parker, Blackwolf8994, MissJustice83, George Blackwell, Shadow Sephiroth666, Billy Nine, Pedro Marquez, KP Shadow Squirrel, Loot Smoke Soldier, Philip Rep, Dr. Papa Penguin, and Hitbox. Thanks so much, everyone. Could not do this without you, and I will see you next time.